So, I just had the most frustrating practice I've had in a long time. It reminded me of a few things. Number one was there's a time for practice and there's a time for performing when it comes to a passage. Know when that time is. Number two, don't end game. It sucks. And number three, diminishing returns. Sometimes you are practicing and it sucks, but it's like you gotta get out all the garbage and then the good stuff can come in and you're practicing what you actually want. And then you over practice and your brain's just like, I'm done with this passage. Let me incubate on it. Go do something else and tomorrow will be better. So anyone out there who's just had one of those frustrating days of practice that it happens, it's okay. Let yourself incubate, do some self-care, and you'll get back into the practice room with a fresher mind tomorrow and things would have organized in your fingers and it's gonna be better. So yeah, my form of self-care right now is I'm gonna go and do some kickboxing to get this frustration out. I will see you in the next clip, I guess. Saber, are you ready? Oh wow, look! It's even got little holes on the side for you. Do you like it? Oh, she's already got inside. Do you like it? I didn't think she'd take to it so immediately, but it was instant. Come on the other side. Wow, Saber. You finally have a tunnel. You love tunnels. Peter, what do you think about the bubble tea popsicle? Sabre's usually pretty good. She like doesn't really have an interest in food, so she never eats anything um, weird. Ah. She'll just smell things, and that's about it. Good evening. Welcome to the uh, PJ edition of what will probably be part of every vlog because it is like 11.40 at night. I just finished some practicing so you can see my keyboard is out. What I wanted to do to just turn on the camera and say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who took a look at my very frustrated practice post on Instagram and offered so much advice like i had no idea I was going to get so much reception and i honestly post that because i know i'm not the only one who gets frustrated with our practices and like i have my own personal strategies on getting past frustration blocks but i thought it'd be really good for any other musician out there to just hear advice from other people because this classical Instagram music community is so supportive. I want to thank you all for all of your advice, for all of your support, and I'm really really excited to see where this community is going to grow as like Instagram as a whole because I'm totally seeing more and more classical musicians come onto this platform advocating for so many different things that I wish I had these people to look up to during my time. So I'm excited about the classical community on Instagram. I'm also very excited for those who are in university or anyone who's going to a conservatory and heading into that musical life. I wish every musician out there the best. I'm gonna go and continue editing. Hi guys. I just uh, finished work. Um, Today's Saturday, it's my longest day for work stuff and I'm so happy to be done. And where I'm living right now, we are loosening up restrictions. So things are opening up and just went to like this food truck station over there and got lobster rolls. So I'm gonna show you my lobster roll right now. Ta-da, Buster Seco! I think, I think we had this back downtown. Same place, right? Yeah. And that lovely lobster roll stuff. It's totally fresh, smells so good, so let's ha let's dig in. Are you a thin fry person? Or like, are you the thick cut person? Or I'm a thin fry person. This is um, size comparison to my face. <laughs> Look at that huge piece of lobster. It's not focusing. Can you touch it to focus for me? It's still not focusing. It's too close, it's too close. Okay. 
okay, that's too bad. It's just all focused. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do one of these. The bun is really soft. I think it's one of those brioche buns. Brioche buns with um, lobster, some mayo, celery, um, chives, and a giant chunk of lobster. So if you are in the area with a food truck and um, has lobster rolls, it's summer, get yourself a lobster roll, enjoy it. I'm gonna continue enjoying this lovely evening. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Gosh, I have pickle juice all over my hands. Where's your napkin, child? I think I, I, think I lost my napkin. No way. Probably did. Did I never give you one? No, you did, and I'm pretty sure it just blew away. I'm pretty sure it's under your thing. Really? I don't know. No, it's not. <laughs> It's okay, I will just have the brioche bun absorb it. A commenter said that they didn't see that I had this quirky side of me. Would you say I'm quirky? Because yeah. I've never been described as quirky. What is quirky? I love quirky. Just describe to me quirky. I feel like quirky is just someone who is like... Weird? I'm, I'm weird, guys. It's not weird. Like, I'm afraid to um, express themselves. Well... Considering this angle for vlogging, yeah, I would say so. It's kind of a, it's like a very um, vloggy, vloggy feeling. Is it? Oh, oh, I can't yeah. touch my, my phone now because I got pickle juice all over myself. Yeah, we're going to be recording forever until we finish it. <sighs> like I said, I'm going to let this brioche button. No! I dropped a piece of lobster. No, oh, celery. Oh, that's fine then. No, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, there's an ant! Oh no, it's getting my fries! No! There's two of them! No, there's three! Thank you. I, sh I should, yeah, not have this here. Ant ordeal report. There might be some in my fries. But right now, it's propped up against, <laughs> against whatever these things are called. It's very precariously propped. Aren't you complaining? Because uh, that's life. It's just a... Uh, Extra protein. <laughs> I'm at, what is this called? Golden Bubble. These are like egg waffles. Is this a Hong Kong thing? Welcome to the Hong Kong culture. Yay! Yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a milk tea mochi, so it's got some chewy bits in it. This is a mm, brown sugar, I guess their signature. Those are these vented bags so they don't get oh, soggy. Oh, seriously! Yo, so smart! Yeah, and then... This is important. This is a lie, Ta. This is a Hong Kong style milk tea, but they've been awarded this like high-end... Prestigious award. Yeah, for like having really good HK milk tea, so we're gonna try it. Wow. You can actually taste like the tea. And it's really silky. It doesn't get. It doesn't taste like there's um. I try to be like some HKT connoisseur, but like, what do I know? What do I know? <laughs> At one point in my life, I was wanting to make like a food truck with these egg waffles. Would have earned a lot of money setting up downtown. Mm -hmm. but, um, maybe not now. But... Yeah, maybe not now. You rip off a little piece. And each one, there's a little bit of mochi, and so the batter is like Hong Kong style milk tea flavored. That's really good. Okay, this one. At this point, everything I eat, you guys have seen, I basically are in little bite sized pieces that come out of bags. Like, my crispy chicken was like this. Hi, guys. Uh, it has been a crazy, crazy day. Let's see if I can sit here. As you can see, I've actually got some makeup on. <laughs> Usually I like don't care for the makeup and stuff, but I have it on today because I just filmed a really lovely, lovely conversation with Anthony over on his podcast. Um, I'll link it down the socials, but we were talking about practicing, performing, um, what's it like to be a teacher, some nice profound questions, which I love. I'm, I love those profound questions. I love deep talks. So yeah, do go check it out. A lot of fun. He is great. He's he's a cool guy. Talking with him, doing the podcast has just filled me with so much positive and bright energy. And he's inspired me to get on the podcast thing that I also want to do. So 
maybe in the future tune in for a podcast or something but yeah i'm just like so full of happy energy and i have no idea what to do with it because i don't know where to output it so like i went obviously got lunch got bubble tea did all that stuff i'm so hoping i can't wait till the sunday is over because i have my studio recital then so i just like get her done my next two weeks are gonna be like a fresh start there's because everything was just piling up until sunday so what's that out of the way i have um a meeting with an old friend old teacher I'm gonna pick his brains for some music stuff and i feel that there's gonna be a lot of positive change coming in in the next few weeks maybe the next few months so i'm very excited for that yeah I think this is what I needed. I needed just to get all this energy out and just out into the universe. So thank you for listening to my um, daily car rants. I will uh, follow it up with more eating and <laughs> I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. I'm taking a little break from lessons, just on my like dinner break. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but they've got a little rhythm. Dun, da dun, dun. There's music everywhere in life. Just gotta listen. That's so cute. <laughs>